Well, Jake, welcome to Meadow Lane. What do you think of your new surroundings, first and foremost? Yeah, it's, it's amazing. I mean, it's the first time I've seen it. It's, uh, it, takes you, it takes you back a little bit, doesn't it? How often have you played at Meadow Lane? I think I've played it twice. Yeah, I've, I've enjoyed it both times as well. Much success here? Or do you not, can you not remember? I think I won one and drew one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, fingers crossed you keep that points, uh, that <laughs> yeah. points all going. Um, what was it about Knotts that you know, convinced you it was the best place for, you, for your next move? Oh, I've obviously worked with a gaffer before. Um, he was a big influence on my career today anyway. You know, it's a massive club and you know, promotion's obviously a big thing for me that I would like to get this club going again. Gaffer's a very popular figure with the, with the players and with the fans and all yeah. the staff at Meadow Lane. From your recollections of working with him in the past, what do you like about him? Yeah, well, basically what you just touched on, he was, he was exactly the same at Wimbledon. Um, I like the fact that he's very approachable. Um, especially with off-field matters, you know, if you've got anything going on at home, he's not just your manager at the end of the day, he you know, tries to look after you properly, so yeah. Central midfielder, what yep. would you say your greatest strength? Um, stamina, go, you know, given everything, go from the first minute to the last and you know, try and run everywhere on that pitch and you know, make sure we get the three points. Quite a few flair players in the squad, players capable of scoring some long-range screamers, beating their men. Do you, do you see yourself as somebody who's going to add to that um, skill set or complement those sort of players? Um, I think, well, obviously I'd like to add my own uh, style of my own game into the, obviously what we've already got here. Um, but I think it would be more, it would be it would be a nice compliment. I think we'll complement each other quite well. Got some really good experienced lads in central midfield already, the people like Michael Doyle and Jim O'Brien. Yeah, yeah. uh, do you know Jim? From I do know Jim, yeah. Yeah, I do know Jim, yeah. And you say that with a wry smile, so you know exactly Yeah, we've got him very well, expect. yeah. I've spoke yeah. to him already, so yeah, all oh, good. Excellent. And uh, Doyle is certainly uh, not a quiet man on the training ground either. So. Yeah, I've heard, yeah, I've heard. Well, I've, I've played against him uh, a couple of times uh, earlier on in my career and obviously know about him anyway, so I know what kind of player he is. And yeah, it's obviously brilliant for us that we've got him here. Yeah, some great competition. And obviously next season in the National League, it's going to be a congested fixture schedule due yeah. to the, obviously everything being squeezed up, you know, rotation and, you know, playing your part, but all the squad playing their part is going to be massive, isn't it? Yeah, of course. Uh, like you said, there's going to be so many games coming thick and fast and it's going to be difficult for everyone. So I'm sure the gaffer will balance it quite well. Tell us about last season with Bradford. Uh, I've got myself back playing um, and it's, it's just a difficult year, I think, for the club. Um, obviously, the club, I think, expected themselves to try and bounce straight back up. Um, but as we know, it's not that easy. Uh, it, didn't, it didn't really happen. The things didn't really click and you know, wish them all the best and hope they can do well this year. New challenge then? Are you seeing this yeah. as a sort of a fresh start for you? Yeah, of course. Uh, I like when I when I spoke to the gaffer last week about the the opportunity of coming here. I like the idea that there's a project in place to not only just you know obviously first and foremost want to get promoted, but the club is set up. It's a bigger club than where it is at the minute. It's a massive club, great history, and it's you know it's there and there's right people in the right departments of the club to make and help this club grow and grow. Pre-season starts soon. Are you somebody who enjoys the... Uh... I don't think there's anyone that ever enjoys uh, pre-season. I think there's others that are probably fitter than others, but I, I probably, yeah, it'll be, it'll, be, it'll be all right, I suppose. Have you been having to do plenty of homework to get yourself ready? Or... Yeah, yeah, like I said, it's, it's a weird time at them, isn't it, isn't it, for everyone? Um, so I've had to obviously do a lot of work on my own, road running, gym running and stuff like that. So yeah, hopefully I should be all right. What are you like in training? What, what am I like in training in terms of running? Just um, generally, are you a good trainer? Do you get yeah, some, I'd like to think so. Some yeah, players yeah. No, I, I like to, if we're doing a game in training, I want to win that game. I don't want to just sit there and just go through the motions. I, you know, I treat every day like you should be and you're obviously willing to improve. And a new set of lads to meet very soon. Yeah, of course. It's always fun. I'm sure the initiation songs will get going soon enough. So that'll be all right. Are you willing to provide an insight into what that initiation song may be? <laughs> I haven't thought about it to be honest. Okay. No. Right, well, we might look, we look forward to hearing Jim yeah. O'Brien tell the Nottingham Post. Yeah, I'm sure. It. Yeah. <laughs> it's great to see you, Jake. Nice Welcome one. to Meadow Lane.